Hi and thanks for joining me today. I'm using some Silly Gum in this video and I wanted to show you how easy it is to make moulds and you can use these moulds for clay or resin or any other kind of medium like Fimo or maybe even just like plasticine um, but I will probably be using them more for clay, possibly resin. I tried it with resin before and I was a bit disappointed with how it turned out. It was a wee bit cloudy but I hadn't used the Pebio oil inside the moulds that you're meant to use so that might have been why. So anyway, getting back to the silicone. So if you, you see here, you use equal parts blue and equal parts white and you mash them all up together and really have fun kneading them all in. It's a bit like a stress ball but it's even more squishy. So it's pretty good fun. And just get them all, get it all mixed up so that it moulds back into a pale blue colour. And once it once it's a pale blue colour you just rip parts off it, tear a bit off, roll it into a ball with your palms, like so, and then press down gently. You want to keep it a reasonable thickness because you will be compressing an object into it, so you've got to allow for that thickness. You want to have about at least a half a centimetre off the silly silly gum underneath so that the mould keeps its shape and then just press around to make sure you've got a nice seal this is Pebio silly gum and it's, it is quite expensive so you would just use it for things that you really want to try out and designs that you would you really want to do. And there are ways to make moulds from silicone as well. I've not tried that myself yet. I probably will at some point. So these are little acrylic daisies that I bought and I thought it'd be nice to make my own clay ones and hand paint them. So I'm just using the silly gum to make a mould of it. And I think these ones will work really well and we'll see at the end of the the video or the next video just how well it turned out. That's a smaller one. Just trying to make as much use of the silly gum as I can. Ideally you don't want to sort of be lifting it back up again but I had started working in the middle so and I wanted to move it out of the way so it's okay. A silicone sheet or a cotton mat is fine to work on. And you want to work really fast because this silly gum sets within about six minutes approximately. But I would leave your pieces longer in the silly gum, maybe an hour or so. But it does set really quick.
and that's a little tree of life pendant that I had um, that I thought would work out really well and I want to try and make some little clay pendants from it and then I can paint paint them and varnish them so that's something for me to be working on and I'll show you how that goes The other one that I just did has a nice sort of spirograph pattern on it and the, uh, the third one's just um, a little heart shaped design. This is a thistle that I'm pressing in um, just wanted to see how good the detail comes out. And then I can make a clay version of it and paint it as well. Now this one's a very large button and I thought this would be a good shape for making a big pendant. They're quite old these buttons. If you're watching this video and you've tried Silly Gum yourself let me know how you find it and if you've found an alternative that works better for you. I like this but it is quite expensive and I can make my own clay things by hand but I just thought it was nice to to make moulds as well and just get these impressions. So now you can have a go at it yourself and you can see how these turn out. That's it all finished. If you liked the video, give it a like, share and subscribe and I'll see you in the next video. Thanks for watching. Bye.